So this question is a diagram question. More specifically, it is a graph question. So with graphs, I take a look at the, the points on the graph, right? So it looks like we have a line of best fit that goes through there. And our points are kind of, you know, below and above that line in various points. The X axis is number of registered voters. The Y axis represents number of people who voted. So let's look at the question to see what they want us to find here. So the question says the scatter plot above shows the number of registered voters X and the number of people who voted in the last election Y for seven districts in a town. Okay, so these dots represent the seven districts, these, these points on the graph. A line of best fit for the data is also shown. So we see that as well. Which of the following could be the equation of the line of best fit. So the equation of a line will always fit our y equals mx plus b format on this test at least. At least it's a great place to start with figuring out the equation of a line. So what do we know or what can we figure out? So the slope, the m value, slope is just rise over run. So I can see that you know if I chose this point here on the line of best fit and this point here on the line of best fit, I would be rising 10 units and running 20 units, right? So 70 to 80 is 10 units, but 140 to 160 is 20 units. So my slope is rise over run, which is 10 over 20, which reduces to one half. So my slope is equal to one half, right? So I have y equals, and I, you know, I peek down at the answer choices, I'm gonna call it 0 0.5 instead of one half, right? Because I have decimals in my answer choices. So y equals 0.5x. And then my b value, which is where it crosses the y-intercept, it's here. Well, that's not there because that's not, that's 120 on the x-axis. I want it to be down at zero. So how do I figure, how do I figure out where that is? Um, well, I can kind of also take a shortcut here. None of my answers even have a b value, right? So you know, finding the exact B value would be a waste of time here. I'd have to like extrapolate and pull this down and figure out like, you know, where is the actual Y axis for this graph? But there's no need to do that because none of the answers have a B value. So all I need, obviously, is the slope. And what I got is Y equals 0.5X or that, the, you know, the M value was one half or 0.5, which means that my answer must be answer choice B.